Hi there and welcome to this two minute tip video and today we're going to be looking at auto distortion control. I'm sure you'll all be aware that um, when you're shooting with different kinds of lenses there are slight distortions so when you're shooting with a wide angle lens you can get barrel distortion and when you're shooting with long lenses you can sometimes get pincushion distorting. Well in the Z-series cameras, Nikon has built in a functionality called auto distortion control. It works on RAW, JPEG and TIFF files by overlaying a lens profile depending on the nature of the lens you're using or the selection you make in the menu system. Um, you have to note that in with certain lenses such as the um, Z-mount 14 to 30 f4 and the Nikon Z mount 24 to 70 f4 this setting is automatically turned on and you grayed out so you can't turn it off um, because what it does is it tries to compensate for the barrel distortion on wide angle lenses and the pincushion distortion on longer lenses to give a much more accurate image especially when you're shooting with perhaps parallel lines or perpendicular lines um, which where the um, distortion really stands out. You can find it in the photo shooting menu and if you scroll down to the third page you'll find it as the second item down um, auto distortion control and as I say in there there are just two settings on or off with certain lenses as I say you may find that it's grayed out and you have to have it on um, and what I've done is I've done some test shots with my 2470 f2.8 so let's take a look at them. So even though this is the top rate f2.8 lens um, at 24mm and shooting a subject which is probably less than half a metre away you're going to expect a little bit of distortion and if you look at the horizontal lines you can see there is clearly a little bit of distortion in there. So if we turn the distortion control on now, um, what we can see is the horizontal lines are now pretty straight and therefore I would say the distortion control is doing a pretty good job in what is quite a challenging situation. As I say, 24mm, really close to the subject, um, you're going to get some distortion. I think the distortion control has really um, pretty, pretty much nailed it with this image. Now, as I mentioned, with the 1430 and 2470 um, f4 Z mount lenses, distortion control is set on by default and you can't turn it off. So let's take a quick look at the 1430 lens at 14mm, less than um, half a meter from the subject and with distortion control on. And I would normally be expecting to see quite a bit of distortion with this kind of lens. However, as you can see the images out the camera have some pretty straight lines there on the horizontal and again this is at 30 mil and you can see the distortion control is really having a significantly positive impact on these images. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let us know in the comments below whether you'd noticed that uh, if you're using the 2470 f4 or the 1430 f4 Z mount lenses that it was already set on by default. If not, do you use it? And don't forget, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell below and you'll be notified of future videos. And I look forward to seeing you in a future video.